Hey guys, Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Magical Diary, where we are on our second bad ending, which is to try and get ourselves expelled from school without saying yes to this question from Professor Grabner. So basically, this is the detention route. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going to be me failing numerous exams and trying to get detention and things while also getting demerits and getting kicked out. So it should be fun. But first, I thought we should start here, since I failed before. And I'll say no. Then what precisely do you think that you are playing at? What was your goal? Oh man, so many options! I mean, I want demerits, but I also want detention. Will he not give me demerits if I take detention? I have a lot of exams that I can get demerits on. Maybe I will take detention. Uh, let's do this, then this, then this, and then this. I was curious about those demerit things and wanted some for myself. Ridiculous. You leave me little choice. Ten demerits, then. And you will write a letter to your parents explaining how you have ruined their plans. Huh? Your parents are exceptionally keen to see you hold a class office, to test and demonstrate your leadership skills. With demerits on your record, you are ineligible. And that is your problem, not mine. Now get out! That could have gone better. Alright. Alright, so let's try a different one. To see how far I could go. To see how far you could push me. It was obvious that you didn't want me to fail, that you would even bend the rules to stop me. You ordered William to coach me for the exam, didn't you? To give me a little nudge. If you were willing to cheat to make sure I didn't fail, then I wanted to know what would happen if I did. You are a fool. If you challenge every boundary, then one day... One day, you may be made to pay a price that you can never recover. Ten demerits and attention tomorrow. And you will write a letter to your parents explaining how you have ruined their plans. Alright. And I'm out. So that's how you get demerits and attention. Um, okay. How about- what an accident! I was careless, that's all. I didn't see the exit, and I wasted my magic on spells that didn't work, and I ran out of mana. You did not see an exit. Are you incapable of using your eyes to examine the world around you? Is it so difficult to light a darkness, to follow a breeze, to inspect your surroundings? I didn't know what would happen when I cast- Did you not have full access to practice areas where you could find out what would happen? <laughs> Ten demerits, then. Okay. So, with that being said, I'm gonna just take the detention. Because the next bad end I have to do after this is a different kind that this will help with, and I'm still gonna get plenty of demerits on my own, so... Here we go. I thought Donald might be feeling lonely in detention every week. Ridiculous. Well, I suppose I have no choice. Detention tomorrow, then. And your parents will be informed about your actions. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Hey, Donald. I'm gonna be with you. Do I want to explain? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, man, so many things. Okay. I will make a joke out of it, I think, is what I will do. We'll go through down the list. No, it was fine. I think it's time to relax. Or not. Oh. Yes. No, I screwed it up. I was trying to figure something out. It was stupid. Sorry I asked. <laughs> it's alright, Donald. We're gonna hang out. I quickly deflect his attention. What was happening with your magic? Are you alright? Mostly? What happened? 
Well, I didn't mean to blow up the wall, so it kind of knocked me backwards, and then I stepped on a rock, and I fell, and... Man, you're such a klutz. But he claps Luke on the arm in support, and Luke looks content. Aw, sweet Luke. Alright. Hey, I couldn't let you be the only wolf known for getting into trouble. Huh? See you in detention tomorrow. Oh, brother. <laughs> Donald, my man, you and I are gonna hang out for a while till I get kicked out. <laughs> It'll be fun! He notices me, then, and his face falls. Right, I've gotta get ready. See ya! Luke heads back into his room, and William walks over to talk to me. Uh... I heard what happened. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Look, I don't know everything that's going on. But it's obvious that you're under some pressure, and I'm sorry if I made that worse. You've settled in now, so I'll leave you alone from now on. Aww, that's sad. Don't go, please. Wait. I don't know everything that's going on either, but I know it's not your fault. You don't have to look out for me all the time, but that doesn't mean you can't ever come around. Friends? Sure. Actually, I was planning to buy dessert at the mall for my sister to celebrate her first exam. You're welcome to join us. Sorry, I have detention. Then say hello to my brother. He waves and goes on his way. I better get moving before I get into more trouble. I just realized I didn't read that. When I arrive at the detention hall, Donald is already present. Hey there, fellow screw-up. Hey. Your brother says hi, by the way. He was looking for you this morning. Really? Huh. Our conversation ends quickly as Grabner enters the room. Gentlemen, I believe you know why we are here. Mr. Franco, we have already discussed your failings. As for you, Mr. Danson, would you care to explain what you were attempting to do? Sure. I thought it would be really funny to hear you giving your study lecture while quacking like a duck. I cringe, predicting an outburst, but Grabner sounds dryly bored. Your control of blue magic is insufficient for your purposes. Varying inflection requires an ongoing alteration, not a simple change. Had you succeeded, it would have been the same quack, endlessly repeated. More an annoyance to your audience than an amusement. Yeah, yeah. As it may not serve my best interest to correct your technique, I choose instead to address your sense of humor. The sophomore exams involved a large number of jerseys, which means their dungeons need cleaning out. Without magic. Mr. Franco, you will accompany him. I'm not entirely sure what this task entails, but from the look on Donald's face, it's not good. Aw, this is where we get the jersey dung. Donald leads the way through the halls towards the assigned sophomore dungeon. Hey, Donald. What's a jersey? Hmm? Oh, yeah, it's an American critter. Imagine a horse about as tall as a cat, with bat wings and a long forked tail. They're not super dangerous, even to normals, but they have terrible tempers and the most annoying scream. And they're almost as bad as pigeons when it comes to the mess they make. It's a crappy job. Right. Cleaning up animal droppings. Well, I've had to do worse things. In the dungeons, we are provided with gloves, brooms, and buckets. The rest is up to us. Finally, hours later, the job is done and we can escape. Are Donald's weekends always this much fun? In the beginning, until Grabner's like, I don't know, I'm running out of ideas for detentions. <laughs> ah, yeah, I decided to join all the clubs, by the way, so there's probably going to be a few overlapping things, which is kind of interesting. Since I'm closing up this game. Baltazar is here as well. This must have been what he was trying to sign up for that day. Oh, that's what you were signing up for with Sports Club. Nice. 
Ow. All right, you guys. Oh, um, one thought. Which is grosser? A pile of poop or a bunch of poop molded into a shape? Does this have something to do with yesterday's detention? <laughs> I'm not answering that. <laughs> um, it's worse. Molded is worse because it's a surprise. At first you don't recognize it and then the smell comes through. And then it hits you! I hope it doesn't hit me. <laughs> Thanks! Good luck, Luke. Alright, let's read about our detention and things. Exam failure. I made a mess of my exam and got Grabner to assign me detention tomorrow. He's not happy about it and has threatened to tell my parents. Alright. William's apology. Even though I'm the one who chose to fail my exam, William came and apologized for pressuring me. I hope the teachers aren't punishing him for what I did. I told him he wasn't responsible for my actions, but I hoped we could still be friends. Cleaning up. Donald and I were assigned to spend attention cleaning up jersey dung from the sophomore exam dungeons. It was very tiring. Indeed. I gotta sleep this week. And... Um... I actually want to get some white. I'm also going to try and get the bunny <laughs> on this run. If it's at all possible. So we'll see. And we'll skip. Um... Yes, I will help Ellen out. I'll distract Damien. Is that a challenge? I'm sure. I don't mind romancing him a little bit. Uh, I will not do the merits thing, though, because I want to get to merits. Thanks, but I'd rather relax. Suit yourself. He shrugs and walks away. He tried. I'm going to leave these two lovebirds to... Work it out. Um, we could run for office. Nah, it's fine. My parents can get over it. Get over it, parents. Alright, let's go to the arcade and use the claw machine. Don't think I won. Okay, Damien, let's have a pie, you and I. Uh, you don't have to tell me, buddy. It's okay. We'll be fine. I think I need to... No, not yet. Um, do I have communicate? I do. Okay, grand. We'll just do one of each this week. Probably fail horribly. I will vote for you, Minnie. It's the least I can do after certain root shenanigans. Alright, Minnie... And Manuel. Why not? Let's go to the mall. I might even be able to see Big Steve. Let's see. Nope. No Big Steve today. I did run into him earlier as I was working towards the first exam. Get out of here, Jacob. Sheesh. Sheesh, Jacob. Okay. Oh. My stress went down because of pinball, of course. Alright. How you doing, Ellen? I'm gonna be friendly to everybody so they'll all miss me when I get expelled. Ow. Talk to you guys about it. Talk to William about it. Go to the mall. Go to the arcade. Go to the claw machine. Just out of my grasp. I don't know if I have silence. I could also join the poetry club if I have silence. Let's see spells. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna be in all the clubs. I wonder if we could play games out here, says Sporty Franco Franco. I like poetry. Sounds like fun. You know, I'm only in 20 clubs right now, so it's fine. All right. When's my next exam? Hit me up with that sweet detention. Uh, 
Um, you should get him some cheese, William. Cheese, if you please. Uh, I'll stay quiet so Ellen can have her song choice. Ah, here we go. So I think a great way to do this is to just walk through the gas until we die. So let's just save to be sure that this happens. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Brr. The next thing I know, I'm back in the school. My skin feels mildly blistered, but at least it still seems to be intact. Mr. Franco, what did you think that you were doing? Um, man, so many good options. Let's do them one at a time. I was trying to learn all the layout and hazards in the dungeon in order to make a plan. And you failed to notice that you were walking directly into one. <sighs> Let this be a lesson to you. Obstacles, even in a simple school exam, are not harmless. Youthful foolishness in the real world can have consequences from which no adult can safely extract you. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Detention tomorrow, then. You are dismissed. No demerits. I'm shocked. I thought for sure that he would have gave me demerits. The gas might have been an illusion to scare people away from trying the obvious exit. Then perhaps you should have used what little sense you possess to attempt to dispel it. <sighs> okay. Detention again. And whoop. Ba -do -do -ba. How was I supposed to know how dangerous the gas was without testing it? It might have only stung a little. Will you chop off your hand to find out how much it hurts? Oh. Okay. So, I got detention, but no demerits. I don't think there's any... Uh, I could try giving up. Let's see. Just for fun. I have given up on this exam before, though, and didn't... I don't... Or did I? What happened? Okay. I get the merits there, but no detention. Interesting. Oh, no. Eh, let's get detention. I did say it's going to be a detention run, so... Let's do it. I was testing my limits. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday. Oh, right. And it really is Donald's birthday next week, too. Alright. He's thinking about it. I've gotten that detention before, apparently. That's fine. Um, I don't remember doing that before. Strange. Detention. <laughs> How foolish my performance had been. Yeah, probably. Probably true. Consider it a challenge, because I'm sporty. Apparently we've done that before. Um, let's do that to wait. Alright, dark dance time, and dump you. Goodbye. Um, I guess I should read some poetry. Or ask about Barbara. I should probably read some poetry. Um, hey mom and dad, could you send some awesome poetry? Thanks. Appreciate you. Uh, claw machine. Still not doing it. Ah. Uh -uh. But then, a faint trace of white magic flicks across my awareness. Perhaps with help they can sense my meaning after all. Oh, okay. Were they using white magic to understand me? That's kind of interesting. Uh, went over pretty well. Do I have... I didn't... I um, just want to make sure I didn't catch the bunny yet. Not quite. Hey, Manuel. 
Fancy running into you here, sweet boy. Let's try harder. Can that spell be used to transmit music instead of words? Gotta try it. I know some white magic this time. Gonna be an overall Franco being friends with everybody. Alright. No big Steve there. Uh, play aggressively, because I'm sporty. Alright. Doop, boop, boop. Boop. Oh, hello, Ellen. One of these days, I'm gonna get the merits. It'll happen. <laughs> I'm dumb. You want to hit something. You want me to hit something. She glares. Then laughs in the back of her throat. A bright flicker arcs through the air between us, stinging my skin where it lands. Ow! Maybe she was trying to tell me to cast that spell, whatever it was. <laughs> Good old Barbara. Smack, ya dummy. Um, what spell was that? Was that push? If she's looking dubious, then I guess not. I'll defend Barbara. <laughs> Poor Manuel. Still getting pushed around. Alright. To the claw machine. Yes. The toy rabbit forever evades my grasp. Uh, I am not gonna go with anybody. I'm a lone wolf, even as I'm friends with everyone. I got too many options on who to take. Okay, can I... Oh, you know what? Hmm. I should have maybe learned how to teleport myself. Crappy Olio. I don't think I can force myself to walk into a hole. I think that would be the best way to get. Come on, just go into the hole. Drat. All right. Yeah, I kind of screwed up. I forgot about this exam. Okay, I'm going to go back in time and then we will come back to this time period and I'm going to teleport myself into this hole. So I will see you there, guys. All right, everyone, we are back. Now I have mastered the true thing I need. Teleport myself into this hole. <laughs> no! My arms flap about as I tumble through the air. <laughs> this is the face I come back to. And then I find myself back in the school. How utterly ludicrous. You intentionally put yourself at risk. Whatever you intended to achieve, you have failed most spectacularly. I have no interest in discussing this with you further. Ten demerits and detention this Sunday. Now get out of my sight. Yes, sir. That could have gone better. <laughs> but was it fun? Not as fun. You alright, girl? Checking on ya. Um, I thought I had detention. Well, fine. I'm gonna go the claw machine. Ah! No bunny for me. Okay, apparently I've done the- oh, okay. Right, because I had to get detention to be with Ellen. Okay, that's fine. Nothing new there, then. Ugh, I'm so stressed out. I need sleep. Oh, it's coming. It's a coming. Um, I guess red and green. Why not? Red and green are fun. Have a good time, William. Miss you, boo boo. I like it here. I like how badly I'm doing and everything. Uh, I like making friends. I'll go with you, father of mine, because I'm giving you a hard time most of the time. It was restful. Okay. 
moving ahead to our next exam. Boop. Hello, Ellen. Surprised we're not having more club activities. I'm in so many clubs. Oh, hi, Suki. Calling me Bay. I'm hanging out with everybody. Uh, no bunny for me, right? No. No bunny knows the trouble I'm going to. No bunny knows how badly I want the bunny. Okay, that should be... <laughs> What if I teleport myself down the hole again? <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> what if? Boop. Ah! My arms flap about as I tumble through the air. Back to back falls through holes. The next thing I know, I'm back in the school lying on the floor. Get up. I said get up! Yeah, I think he's a bit cross. I will not pretend to know what you thought you were doing. I do not care whether this was, result was an accident, an experiment, or some twisted desire for self-mutilation. But if you wished to discover the limits of my patience, then believe me, you have found them! If you repeat this performance, you will be sent down. No matter how many merits you have coaxed out of Petunia, I will not stand by to witness students deliberately harming themselves. There are enough problems in this world without you adding to them! Dang. Yes, sir. I don't dare say anything else. It doesn't take a wizard to sense how frayed his temper is. For your abysmal performance, you will receive ten demerits and attention this Saturday. Yes, sir. Do not assume that someone will always be there to save you. Yes, I mean, no. I understand. Goodbye. <laughs> I slip quickly out of the room so I don't have to look him in the eye. I should probably be more careful. Nah, 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 nah. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh... There's many possible messages in that story. Pace yourself or you'll burn out. Don't let your pride goad you into an impossible task. Learn to adapt rather than trying to fight change. I don't know what he wants, so I suppose I'll have to write about all of it. Trying to choose the right words can be surprisingly exhausting. Right, I'm not laid back this time. Hey, Suki. What's this? Bloodsuckers don't even kill to feed. Some of them don't, but... Okay. Interesting. Interesting change there. Let's see. Painful lessons. I injured myself casting spells during my exams. The professor Grabner had to extract me, and he was very angry about it. Now I have detention. Alright. Well, we're doing good. Um, I need to make her a beautiful black one where she is mysterious. It sounds a little tuneless, but I might not recognize the song. Aw, oh, cause he's humming. Humming while he works. Boo -do 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 -do. Alright. I need some stress relief, uh, please. Please, please. Uh, what happened here? If you're negative, at least you're safe until you hit the bottom. That's not necessarily true. Grabner said if I injured myself in an exam again, he'd have me expelled no matter how many merits I had. But for him, that's personal. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so. I don't see William here anywhere. I didn't specifically invite him, but with both Donald and I performing, I thought he would show up on his own. I suppose he's not that interested in music. Huh. 
Interesting. I'm gonna think about nobody. Look at all these options I have. I'm not dragging anyone down with me. It's fine. I'll be all alone. Uh, I don't think I need to read anything. That's a long bad end. We're gonna get there eventually. Yeah, sure, man. I recognize Julius Hetzel from Sports Club. Okay. Because we are all over the place. Use the claw machine. Still haven't won the rabbit. Fine. Keep on going. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this is a good way to get some... <laughs> Uh, hold on. Just in case. Let's just save over this. Adventure. I cast a quick true sight spell, but the stairs don't reappear. They're not hidden by illusion. They're just not there anymore. Alright, I think we're just getting detention. No demerits. But that's fine. We're still on a detention run. <laughs> What's this? Ah, the comic strip. Must be something Suki drew during her detention last month. There's a girl in a witch's hat and a tiger with his foot caught in a trap. And they hug, and then there's a baby lying under a tree? I'm not sure. Okay, well, we know what the tiger is. What? A baby? I got suspicions about this. I've got some suspicions about this baby thing. I'm not gonna say what they are, because I'm probably not correct. But I got some suspicions. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. All right, we've got some options for this one, I think. Let's save. We could have the dog attack us. Or we could stand in the lava. Either way, I think we're getting sent home. I don't know if that's the right ending we want, though. So we'll see. So if we burn... Oh. It's so quiet. The next thing I know, I'm back in the school lying on the floor. I'm in no hurry to open my eyes. I already know what's coming. If I can just pretend. Don't get up on my account. Uh? I was expecting him to fly into a rage, but... After all, there's no hurry anymore, is there? You are no longer my burden. You can explain your psychological problems to your parents without my assistance. I wash my hands of you. What? I told you. If you persisted in deliberately damaging yourself for attention, you would not be allowed to continue as a student. You are done. You are expelled. It is over. Now get out! Well, I got expelled. That's what I was going for. With that, I returned to my room to pack my things. My time at Iris Academy is finished. The student known... Oh, sorry. That's, I guess that's going to be read as him. The student known as Franco Franco left Iris Academy in disgrace. His full story and the truth of his identity were never known. And yet, his memory did linger as an example and a warning to future students that the wizard born could fall just as easily as the wild seeds. Da da! Da 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 da! Alright, that actually went a little faster. Normally, you would have to get negative 50, I think, to be expelled. Uh, but because I kept hurting myself, I got it a little sooner. So there you go, there's an alter alternate way of doing it. Um, I imagine Gravner might be a little less upset if you did it without hurting yourself. It would be interesting. 
I might even try and get an expulsion without upsetting Gravner and bringing up, you know, personal trauma for him. <laughs> As like a bad ending 2.5 edition. I don't know. I'm gonna, I think, I'm gonna marinate on it and think about it, but I might just try that and then go for the third bad ending that I, uh, I need to go for. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me be a masochist. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Alright, until next time guys, I will see you later.